the elections, man, we don't mind that nobody on stage. But when you come with the, all these goddamn motherfucking elections and you're trying to <laughs> overtalk people, you're trying to come with all the... They'll come with the scholarship, come with the knowledge, but we ain't letting nobody go for run on and run on for that damn 10 minutes, goddamn. Get your ass on here, say your piece. Hey. And, and, and Don, I just want to say hold this. On, hold on. on. I'm just going to say this. Nobody's going to talk over each other. Everybody's going to get a chance to talk. I think the moderators are pretty much, we know how we feel. So we want to know how y'all feel about it. Hey, Herb, hey, who's the guy that's saying? Let me say this. If you have it, go watch the video. Hurt. Go watch the video of the altercation if you have it. So that way you will know exactly what happened. Hey, you know what did Nick Neal respond to that, though? Yeah, he yeah, did. He yeah, he wrote some shit. Um, what was his response? He tweeted about it. He tweet. He he didn't um, say nothing um, recorded. He just wrote something. Oh, okay. Y'all know he was. To me personally, to me personally, I feel everything wet state was facts. People got to stop coming on the app, coming at academics, and coming at niggas like academic because he is a civilian. Meek talk all this gangster shit. He banged on Safari. He got Safari jumped. When it was about a female, but you, you every song is rat this, rat that. First off, you gotta address the rat that you work for. So before you even, you know, what I mean, all that rat shit, man. Look, meek man, that man, like man, say he pulled up on you. You gotta, 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 you gotta spoil all, bro. You gotta slap the shit out of nigga, not say, say, oh, you trying to see, you gotta do something, bro. You gotta show me, meek ain't proved this up, me. He keep using, he keep you to me on all beats, ain't. He keep using this reform and this prison shit as a street cred to his rap, his rap career. And to me personally, he shouldn't be the person in, in front of no type of reform shit. Cause like Kanye once said, how the hell you rap about all this trap shit and all this goon shit, but then you holler for prison reform. reform. That's a contradiction, bro. You got down rapping bullshit and then you plead and you, you want to be free. I don't like this shit. Black 100 was speaking facts. Meek need to get the girl. He need to seek God. Did he tell to? Facts. All right, so Fuck. my point with this shit. Um, WAC 100, I would call him a clout chaser, but he's actually a clout leecher. Like, he really doesn't uh, have any breaking news surrounding him besides when they uh, beat his ass at um, Rolling Loud, I want to say, last year or two years ago. I remember when Stitches was beefing with Meek Mill, and I think he found Stitches down in Rolling Loud in Miami. No, no, it was Art Days in Miami. And put hands on him. What I'm saying with this nigga, uh, Whack 100, is he usually waits for other shit to happen to say some inflammatory shit or something that gets him trending when the story isn't really originally about him. Now, what he said about Meek Mill was facts, and I agree with that because Meek Mill is somebody who uh, pretty much contradicts himself. One minute he's saying, oh, "I don't want to go to jail." Next minute you saying we was gonna put um, we was gonna put six nine in a pack. How is you gonna put six nine in a pack? When both your security works for each other. Y'all both got undercover police working for each other in the same city. So odds are this is the same police deputies that are working both of y'all nights, right? Okay, you said you spit on this nigga in the club. How did you spit on this nigga in the club when y'all niggas were nowhere near each other in the club? Then they said that uh, 6 9 waited for me to go outside in the parking garage. With who? With undercover or an off-duty police officers. Both y'all held up y'all camera. So to me, this seems like a fake publicity stunt. This seems like Meek Mill took that $3 million bag little Dirk didn't take when he said that 6 9 and his team offered him money to start a fake beef because both y'all didn't have no clue. Oh, y'all y'all didn't have no side niggas. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? Y'all didn't have no side niggas with y'all that y'all knew would have popped off because y'all like these niggas. Y'all didn't have no yes men with y'all. Y'all didn't, y'all know this. Both of these niggas went down to the club or Miami, wherever the fuck they went, and the only people on video was a whole bunch of white bodyguards and them two niggas Back. with their phones up. Uh, Nobody peeped that shit yet. Probably so Meek saying, Mill literally had the same, like, some of them same security guards are 6'9's security exactly. guards. Exactly. Man, that was shit. Was y'all, ain't peep the psyops. y'all ain't peep the psyops, and I'm going to say this and wrap it up. This is what I'm saying. Bro. He's about to drop a song or an album, too. He's about to drop an album in a week or two. Meek Mill lost because 6 9 this is 6 9s brand. 6 9 is known for doing shit like this. Uh, motherfucking Meek Mill came on this app saying, oh, we got 6 9 out here. 6 9 is 6 9 that. Then when you face-to-face with him, 
first thing out your mouth is, why me? I ain't trying to go back to jail. This, this, and that. And stop talking that uh, shit. Stop acting like you got uh, shooters because you ain't got shooters. You got police with you. That's why you untouchable, nigga. If I was around with 6'9 and 6'10, uh, uh, 300, uh, 300.